You know, a lot of people ask me, Joe, why didn't you do a Fable 3 video? You did a Fable 2 video, a preview, a two-part review, but no Fable 3 video. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I just didn't want to believe how bad this game is. And how can I somewhat like Fable 2 and absolutely hate Fable 3? So much to the point where I would even put it off to play worse and worse games. Me and the Fable franchise, we have a long history. Yeah, I was one of the first members on like the blue box forums. I forgot the exact name. I was like member number 50. I was waiting, buying into the hype for the first Fable. Planting the acorn and watching the tree grow. And ever since then, you know the rest. Fable 3 is a beautiful game. The environments are awesome. It has a unique style, it has a unique setting, and the detail is amazing. But the game itself sucks. It is the most boring, lazy, backward ass design game I have played in a long time. It is insulting, because whereas bad games are just bad, Fable 3 has high production values and just fails in every important aspect. Now, if you judge the game purely on art artistic design and visuals, it would score highly with me. But this is not what makes a game great. What makes a game great is the gameplay. Is it fun to play or is it a boring chore? And that's what Fable 3 is. It commits the worst offense. It is a boring chore to play through. How anybody can be so blind and not see all of these things that make no sense in front of them baffles me. This has happened before. This franchise needs help. And I'm about to explain why and how it fails so much. So share your experiences with me as I share mine with you. It's gonna be a longer video. And if you see something that happened to you, I wanna know about it. These are the top 10 reasons why Fable 3 sucks balls. Number one, the sanctuary. The first thing is something that you will notice right away. The godforsaken sanctuary. It's your inventory screen, it's your options, it's your map, it's your Welcome quest summary, it's your everything. And it needs to be none of those things. The inventory in Fable 2 was bad, but not this bad. It needed improving, not to be completely ripped out and replaced with something that's even worse. It's so counterintuitive, it has to be one of the biggest bonehead moves of 2010. Then, what do you do about it? To do anything other than hit people or fart in their faces, you need to go to the sanctuary. The process is unnecessarily long. You load it up, you walk into the room where the thing is that you Welcome. need, you walk to the specific podium, you press and hold the A button, which is retarded in itself, you equip the item, then you leave the sanctuary. Here's another example of how annoying it is. I wanted to give my girl a present, perfume or flowers. So guess what? I have to position myself perfectly, walk up to her, interact with her, hit the gift button, then get transported to my sanctuary. She comes with me, by the way, ruining the surprise. Then get transferred to a new gifting room specific to gifting. You can't even get to this room normally in the sanctuary. It's a special room. She comes with you into that one as well. Then you walk up to some podiums. Then you hit the right trigger, left trigger, and, and you scroll through it until you find it. Then you hit the right button, left button, and then, when you find the perfume, you have to walk up to the perfume podium, hit A, and then you have to exit. Then, as if that wasn't the most disappointing thing ever, she automatically has the perfume! The perfume apparently materializes up her ass! Because I didn't seem to give them to her. 
I didn't see myself giving them to her. There's no fucking animation of you giving her the flowers or anything for that matter. You actually have no idea if that godforsaken process even worked. If you want to make sure she got them, here's what you have to do. You have to force her to pause, travel to her sanctuary, you follow her by the way, and you do it all over again until she makes sure, scroll through all the left triggers, the right buttons, the, until she makes sure she has the perfume on her goddamn podium. What the fuck? All of this that has to do with the sanctuary doubles or triples the time you spend doing even minute things. Probably padding out this short game even further in total playtime by a few hours. It even makes navigation in the world infuriating. Reason number two, the navigation in the world is infuriating! There is no map, there is no traditional mini-map, there's Peter's stupid breadcrumb trail, but it misleads me. Sometimes, that's if it's even there, it disappears when I seem to need it the most. The breadcrumb trail was the worst idea because it makes you focus on the trail and ignore all of the time and effort that the environment designers slaved for years working on, or just months, whatever, they carried it over from Fable 2. You're just staring at this glowing line until you reach your destination. And when you want to find something that's specific, that's not a quest, it is a pain in the ass. You have to travel to the sanctuary, you have to walk over to the table map, then you have to pull it up, then you have to zoom in on the town that you want, you have to pull that town up. When you attempt to find the building you want to go to, even though the town looks almost nothing like what it does when you're actually there, then you have to fast travel to the point. Okay, and for the longest time, I didn't even think that you could fast travel to a specific building or point, but apparently you can. But for me, it just seems completely random. Then, when I get to the completely random point, I have no fucking clue where I'm at, because it looks nothing like the stupid model. And then I can't easily get my bearings, because get this, there is no, you are here, anywhere on this fucking sanctuary map. I've never been to these places before. This is not real life. In these kinds of games, it is helpful to look at the map for a few times on your way to the location. You pull up your map, you look at it, you exit your map. And it's just a pain in the ass to have to repeat this process in Fable 3 to the sanctuary over and over while you're traveling. And speaking of traveling to places... How are you this fine day, sir? Hello? Reason number three. There is a loading screen every five seconds. I am so tired of seeing Big Bess's big ass. You will see these stupid loading screens with their stupid posters constantly. Every single time you enter a new area, there's a loading screen. It feels like half of the game you're looking at these screens. This is 2010, people. There are games out there that load once. Once. Or, at the very least, have these in-game loading in between areas that just load in the background while you play. This is just pure laziness. I swear, it is like 30% of those 12 hours you'll probably be playing this game total are spent staring at these damn loading screens. Reason number four, co-op. Co-op is improved. But ultimately, it stands as a prime example of how it's pretty much pointless unless the game is specifically designed for two-player campaigns. People want to co-op meaningfully. And instead of crafting the story in Fable 3 to where it has meaningful co-op, they just give us the co-op that Fable 2 should have had one game ago. Fable 2's Promise Cooperative, it, it's now in Fable 3. Congratulations. You just shoehorned it in. Your co-op partner doesn't participate and everyone in the story ignores them like they aren't even there. All the second player does essentially is help you out in combat. But you don't need help in combat. Because the entire game is easy. They knew people wanted to co-op meaningfully in Fable 2. They knew they wanted to do it in Fable 3. And yet they gave us the same crap system that was designed for Fable 2. 
They completely ignored any possible storing elements of incorporating a real cooperative partner in Fable 3. In favor of giving us what they should have given us already in Fable 2. Reason number five, co-op play restrictions. So get this, to even play the co-op I mentioned, you have to have the same exact DLC as the person you're playing with. Now, I I'm not talking about expansions here. I'm not talking if you want to play an expansion that has come out. No, I'm talking about the littlest of DLC downloads. If you don't have the freaking free Yule hat, you can't play with somebody that didn't download the Yule hat. If you don't download the free weapons pack, you can't play with somebody that doesn't have the free weapons pack. Guess what? You can't play with your friend until you do too. Reason number six, the Black Die DLC is fucking bullshit. Why do we have to pay for the use of the color black to dye our clothes? Are you serious? That is so much bullshit. There's like a total of only like 10 clothing options in the game. Customization is literally gone. It's barren. Like 7 of those costumes are quest clothing that they give you anyway, so that makes like 3 or 4 clothes that actually have any variation. What is the point? Oh, but you want a new shiny set of industrial knight armor? Two dollars, please. Any new clothes we put out? More money, please. They want, us, they want us to pay them to meaningfully customize our character when they know that that's what we want to do in these kinds of games. The DLC is bullshit in this game. And, and why is the free Yule Hat 14 megabytes? Somebody tell me why the Yule Hat is 14 megabytes! Bullshit! Reason number seven. The combat is broken. And this is a huge reason. There is absolutely no use for melee. One third of your weapon choices are invalid. If you even try to use your hammer or sword, enemies will constantly block all your attacks. It takes like 10 freaking minutes to kill a difficult enemy. And that's if they are on their own. Most of the time you're gonna be swarmed with a shitload of them. So where it would take you half a second to kill the same enemy in a single shot or two because guns are unblockable, no, you have to sit there and spend 10 minutes attacking somebody with flourishes, charge up attacks while you're getting your ass beat, you have to duck and dodge, and you have to have your attacks constantly blocked. No thank you. Reason number eight. Magic is insanely overpowered. B is the key to winning any battle. I purposefully handicapped myself, which I should never have to do, by using a gun the whole game. I refused to use the piece of shit melee weapons, but why did I do this? Because the magic in this game is extremely overpowered. And now you can even combine two magic spells together. Why? In a game that's this easy, why do you make it even easier? Magic was overpowered in Fable 2! Did you not see anybody complain about it? Are you that dumb? Instead you make magic even more insane in Fable 3?! Are you serious?! I- No! I can't believe this! This is unbelievable! No! Reason number 9, and this is probably the biggest one. It's too damn easy! The whole game, I never once died. I must have used maybe a grand total of two health potions. And I didn't even know if I needed those because there's no freaking health bar. Just the sides of my screens appeared slightly red. I had no idea how much more health I could still go, so I used the health potions. I didn't need to though. If the game has no challenge, then there is absolutely no tension in combat, then the combat in the game is completely pointless. You've just made the other 60% of your game pointless. The combat. The other 30% are loading screens. 60% pointless combat, 30% loading screens. What's the other 10%? I'll tell you. Reason number 10. 
the dumb character interactions with NPCs. In Fable 3, they actually made the interactions with NPCs worse. It was already a crappy system. Whereas in other RPGs, people actually have interesting shit to say. In Fable 3, you pick a random expression like farting in their face or dancing like a chicken. It is completely ridiculous. They never have anything good to say. There's no point in doing any of these. None of these random PCs say anything useful besides a stupid fetch quest on occasion. And now you can't even choose your dumb interactions! In Fable 2 you could at least choose what stupid ass interaction you wanted to do, but no, in Fable 3 now it's random! Why did they make this change? They keep dumbing down this game. Everything dumbs down this game. The dumb interactions are the same for everyone. To seduce girls, you dance with them. But it's the very same dance when you dance with dudes. It's, it's completely ridiculous. I, no, I don't want to hold your hand. This does not form an emotional bond between us. Especially when most of the time, you're not even holding my hand. I'm, I'm floating in the air and I'm holding the air and you're holding the air in front of you and we are both holding the same air in front of us. Because of poor animation execution. Or whatever it is. There! Ten fucking reasons why this game sucks! So there it is, the top 10 reasons why Fable 3 sucks. And I'm not even done, that's not all there is. In fact, I know I said top 10 reasons, but fuck it, I need more. Number 11, the dog. There's no emotional bond there. He's simply a carryover from Fable 2. They don't do anything with him. In fact, I think his AI just took a dump in Fable 3. Number 12, there's never anything in the fucking crates. What did I tell you guys about this in my Fable 2 review? Didn't I fucking tell you? Dude, they're all f empty! It's a joke in my face! Well, you know what? I got something for those crates. Reason number 13, there's no indication of where you have properties on the zoomed out map. Yes, you have flags, but you don't have any idea where your family is. Where's my baby? Especially if they leave their house and you need to find them on the map that doesn't exist. Reason number 14, if your character is not perfectly positioned, the interaction objects won't appear floating above their heads. Even when you are staring face to face, they still don't appear. They appear like at random. Reason number 15, screen tearing. This anti-analyzing, just everything is blurry in motion. Reason number 16, weapon morphing is BS. Weapons morph only when you complete a challenge, not as you use them, as we were told. There is not enough weapon variety. There's like two guns, a sword, and a hammer. So Peter ramped down the hype, and the only things that he was talking about is you could be king, and you could morph your weapons. Well, weapon morphing is a massive disappointment. The only time your weapons morph is when you complete specific quests related to that weapon. I don't want to run around and kill one person in 20 of my friends' Xbox Live game. That is a serious ploy to sell 20 more copies of this game to your friend. Just to morph my weapon. Are you fucking shitting me? Reason number 17. Too easy to earn money. It becomes worthless. Before you know it, you have hundreds of thousands of gold and nothing to spend it on. What are you going to spend it on in Fable 3? What is there to spend it on? Nothing. Reason number 18. The frame rate drops mess up your button pattern when you're doing a job. For no reason, the game slows down. Especially in multiplayer. Reason number 19. Even more bullshit DLC content. Reason number 20. Why do you turn ginormous when you're interacting with somebody in co-op? 
It's ridiculous. Like, I'm huge when I interact with my girlfriend. Then when she interacts with me, she's like a fucking Amazon. Picking me up and throwing me around like I'm a child. What the hell? And that's it. That is the top 20 re... N Fuck it. I need 10 more. Number 21. I wouldn't be surprised if Fable turned into this Final Fantasy thing. Fable 1, Fable 2, Fable 3, Fable 7, Fable 13. Less gameplay, more loading screens. It's excellent this time, we promise. Reason number 22. Everything is a corridor. And it's a shame because the environments are so gorgeous. Invisible walls are everywhere. You can't avoid them because every area ends in an invisible wall. Reason number 23, it is so boring. You literally do nothing in combat. You never change your tactics in combat. You can do the same thing over and over. Even for bosses. Number 24, press A and hold it for two seconds if you want to do something? Why? I pressed A. If I press A, that means I'm pressing A. Why do I have to press and hold and then release? Why? Reason number 25. We went through half of the game not looking like how we wanted to look. And you go into a barber shop and he only has three styles and a beard. Do you want a mustache? Yeah, I want a mustache, but I also want a goatee. I don't know how to do that. For your unwanted number 16. Everything is dumbed down. This game is for stupid people. It doesn't appeal to anyone anymore. It doesn't excel in any area. Please tell me one thing that Fable does better than any other RPG. You can't do it! Reason number 27. The going back to the road to rule, to use everything, to have to fly across a non-existent plane of the universe in order to improve my skills with the sword because I open a chest? You mean I use my sword countless times, I kill hundreds of people, and I can't upgrade until I fly to a plane non-existent in this world and open a fucking chest so that my sword levels up. Oh my god. Reason number 28, the money that you have cannot be seen. Except when you go into the stupid sanctuary. You have to go to the sanctuary to see how much money you have. Reason number 29. The extremely anticlimactic villain fights. Every major character boss fight in the Fable franchise has been a huge disappointment. In the first one, in the second one, the Fable franchise is its like a fucking tradition with them. The fight with your brother when you take the king down isn't what you think. It's a huge disappointment. All that for nothing. Reason number 30, this game is short as hell when you remove all the bullshit time you waste on things that shouldn't be there. It's even short when compared to other RPGs with all the bullshit Fable 3 padding. No, reason number 31, all the NPCs look the same. And reason number 32, this game killed my son. I had a son, and it was actually auto-named Joe. But guess what? When you fight your brother, the Bowerstone Old Quarter or whatever it's called is completely destroyed. And, and there was no warning of that at all. And that's where I had my family house and my wife and my son who was auto-named Joe. It was very special. And then after that sequence, my family was murdered. Fuck this game for murdering my son. Fuck! Fuck this game! Madam? You're not bad looking.